I want to share a revelation that I had with you a few weeks ago at my brother's wedding. I was there, as you do, introducing myself to other people, and I said, hey, I'm an astronomer. And then one of my brother's friends, very drunk, said, eh, hey, you're an astronomer. Did you find aliens yet? And of course, I say no. But, interestingly, recently the Kepler Space Telescope actually found something kind of weird. We found there's a planet that is dimming more than we normally see planets dim, and there are some far-off theories, some ideas, I should say, that think maybe this could be an alien structure. I want to explain it's probably not. There's, much probably, there's a much higher probability it's comets or something like that. The idea is there. And then by that point, he was bored and wandered off somewhere, so I was talking to myself. But this got me thinking. I've said that phrase before. I've said no, but. Someone asked me about the Curiosity rover and said, did we find aliens on Mars? No, but we did find methane readings last year. Those were actually announced at EGU almost exactly a year ago here in San Francisco. We found methane, which could be a byproduct of living things, but it could also be a byproduct of geological things. We've also sent the Rosetta probe out into space searching on a comet, and we found organic molecules. But those aren't necessarily life. Those are the building blocks of life. So I've got this no but, and that seems really important. Because as we go out into space and we explore things, we're seeing all these little signs that maybe life is here, but nothing concrete yet. It seems really, really hard to find concrete signs of life, which is really hard to convince people because we spent years going, Captain, I've detected life signs. <laughs> so. I realize the irony in using a 10-year-old cell phone to evoke science fiction here, but this is an important question. What are life signs? What are we going to find that are going to suggest alien life exists if it does? This is a really, really hard question to answer, and that's why we're still looking into it now. We do know one thing. We have life here. So we suspect if there's life elsewhere, it could be like us. At least on a chemical level, maybe life out in space is similar to us. If that's true, that means we have the same sort of chemical things. We need to have carbon, we need to have water. That is what most of us right now are made of. And thankfully, those are things that are very abundant in the universe. But how can we find those things, and will those things be a sure sign for life? The answer is probably that they won't be a sure sign, but we'll find more and more of these small bits of evidence that suggest to us that maybe life exists. We're doing this now, or at least we're building the telescopes that are about to do this now. We want to do spectroscopy, seeing the elements in alien planetary atmospheres. We don't have the resolution to do this quite yet, but in the next 10 years or so, we'll be making the telescopes that can see the elements in there, maybe finding signs of life, and maybe for once answering the questions so that I can no longer say you no, know, but I can say yes with no buts.